G'day everyone, it's Kimmy here. Um, I've been creating some teaspoons, uh, altering some teaspoons. I um, just grabbed some teaspoons out of my cutlery drawer. <laughs> um, I saw them on Pinterest and thought, oh wow, I really want to give those a go. So um, this was my take on it. Um, I'll leave a link below to the to the Pinterest that I found, uh, pick that I found, but. Um, I made a little box for this one and I've lined it with some pretty pink fabric and then I've just created a little sleeve out of some acetate um, or transparency kind of stuff packaging from another box really um, and I just double sided tape and glued that down but the spoon starts out basically with a couple of coats of gesso um, and then I just leave it for a few days just to let the gesso set and go really hard and then I've printed out on some tissue paper a pretty little rose print and I glued it down with some Mod Podge and because I've only, I use it on an um, inkjet I was really careful because it does, it will run, the image will run so um, I then added a little bit of stickles just so you can see the glitter in that you'll probably see it more on the back perhaps there we are. And then I just attached a tiny little mulberry paper rose and some little paper uh, stamen and a tiny little rosebud in there as well. And then up the top here I've just um, tied a bow around the, t the spoon and then added a little charm and a little tiny fabric rolled rose. If I can get it to show. So, so that's my shabby chic teaspoon. I was really impressed with how it turned out. So I've got a couple more to make. They just um, make a cute little gift idea. Just something a little different. So, and that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.